I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile and I'm privileged to be with the Sacramento County Office Teacher of the Year, Jeff Zonheiser. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, you might be able to tell from the way Jeff is dressed that he is our culinary arts instructor. So tell us a little bit about culinary arts and, and what you do with the students because you go beyond just teaching them how to cook. Yes. Uh, one of the, the main parts of the program is to create a career mindset for the, the most severely dis, uh, disabled students in the county. And some of these students have had extreme uh, bad experiences with previous educational environments. And to be able to find something for themselves to go on and work in, in the world and come to work on time and be part of a, a team and get along with others. So wrapped around all of that is the cooking. And so being able to also give them some independent living skills and be able to uh, learn how to cook on their own and provide for themselves and maybe even go out and be professional uh, like me, hopefully someday. So, so take us from like day one when you get a student to when they're kind of through the program. What's it like? When you, when you get a raw student who, um, you know, in addition to not really having the culinary skills, may not have the personal or the social-emotional skills. And so kind of explain how you're dealing with both. So we're, uh, you know, the, for the social-emotional skills, that's a, a very long road. Um, it starts with just, main, uh, just establishing a rapport with the student and finding some kind of common ground where we can work together and communicate. Um, I start out with the basics of sanitation. So they all take uh, the uh, National Restaurant Association Serve Safe California Food Handlers Permit. So they're able to work in California with that uh, certificate. And uh, we start day one just learning how to wash your hands and how to provide uh, safe and uh, uh, good food. And then we just go from there. Uh, you know, start with the basics and move on. And a lot of that time we develop, I, I get to develop that rapport with the students. So it kind of goes hand in hand. Because you're working with students who have emotional challenges and special educational needs. And so you're, you're dealing with students who may be prone to outbursts or, mm -hmm. or, or that type of behavior. Um, students who have not necessarily succeeded in, in a conventional school environment. So kind of explain, you know, your background and how you're able to, to best really work with these students. Well, one of, one of my sayings is that I'm just a little further along in the program than you are. <laughs> and I mean by that, uh, I was a, a ADHD student. Um, and back when I was a student, there wasn't a lot of services. There wasn't a lot of uh, things that they did with people like me. They stuck us outside or they put us in a seclusion room. Or, you know, I was, a lot of times I was put in just another room or uh, had a picnic table in elementary school, um, sent away to a reform school when I was in high school. But when I, my uh, father knew a chef and I got working with him in the summer and I found that that family environment and that, uh, that working with my hands and staying busy and also the hyperactivity went hand in hand with multitasking. So now a disability became an ability. And I, I'd like to share that with the students. And you know, I find that many of my students have the same needs as anybody else in this world. They, ha they want to have a family. They want to have a house. They want to have a car. They want to be successful. And I show them a road to get there. And so how do they identify with you when you explain to them, you know, what, what it's been like for you growing up? So they, they, they a lot of times they're, uh, receptive to that and they say hey you know if chef can do it I can do it and you know it's almost like I know when I was a kid I visited the contemporary hotel in Disneyland or Disney World and uh, I saw the chef there and I was probably like 12 or 13 years old and I remember seeing that chef it was just a tour and I said I could be like that guy and it kind of made a picture in my brain and I, I believe that if you can imagine it and you can see it in your brain, you can achieve it. You can go do it. So, you know, part of it is just seeing yourself in that position. And I think I provide that to them. Explain how you infuse, you know, uh, math and science and different things into your curriculum. And so for students, it's, it's more than just preparing a meal. So we, uh, 
we're a Lynx Academy, and that means that there's three, I have three teachers that I work with, three comprehensive teachers. They're the case managers for the students, and they handle the comprehensive part of their education, um, including developing an individual education program. And so together as a team, we, we work on um, integrating the curriculum a lot, you know, to kind of get a hands-on feel about it. We do many science related, you know, it would be science, but it's also culinary arts where we explore different, uh, different chemicals used in the kitchen. Um, I also have the ability to kind of allow the student to go back and not be embarrassed of remediating by not knowing that they're remediating. An example of that would be maybe, uh, you know, we have a banquet for 40 people we need to make brownies for those people. How many trays and how many cuts do we got to make on that trade to get those 40 brownies? And so it gives me an opportunity to really work one-on-one -on -one with the student, um, figure out that it's multiplication to do that. And then they, they get that aha moment and they go, oh yeah, uh, that's right. There, if I cut eight times five, I get 40, you know? And so remediating like that. Uh, some of the other things that uh, SED students have trouble with is like following steps and following directions. And those are two huge things that you have to be able to do in the kitchen. But not only are you, is somebody telling you to follow directions and steps, but uh, if you don't, you end up with a mess at the end. <laughs> and so a lot of times I let them, you know, like we're making chocolate chip cookies or something, and I, they're not measuring or something, they're really got paying attention, and they come out with, and then, I, then we can go back and say, well, what did you do? Well, you, you didn't measure, and let's try to do this next time. We'll do a little better. And explain about the, the cafe portion of the program. So we offer a uh, restaurant that's open to the public. It's sort of the first step in the independent, work, the independent working uh, model for them. Um, they can work for me in the cafe. They work all the positions. They work waiter or busser or dishwasher or cook, um, prep cook, all those positions they're able to put in some time in a professional working environment um, and uh, experience that. From there they go to a supervised work environment which is off campus. Uh, we have s several employer partners that we work with and we send somebody with them to supervise them and they work there and hopefully the, later on they move on to an unsupervised where they have a, a real job and they, they're leaving school for a couple hours a day and they're just going and doing their thing and moving on from there. So they really learn the responsibility in a, in a classroom setting before they go out into the workforce. Yes, and it's safe, and it's safe, you know. It's make a mistake, that's okay. If you get fired here, it's no big deal, you know. <laughs> so what does it mean for you to be named as, uh, as the county office's teacher of the year? It's a great honor. Um, I, uh, I just kind of see myself as a regular guy, kind of, uh, a chef, and um, you know, one of our, one of the things that most chefs feel deeply is the importance of giving back, the, the, the industry, the, the history of the career, um, the history of the work for being chefs is, has always been altruistic, to teach the next generation, we have strong guilds, we have, over the centuries, it's been that way, father and son, or, or uh, just people that you trusted and you brought into the, into the cooking industry, cooked for kings or whoever, you know? So that's sort of built into being who, who I am. And then to be able to do that with students, I think I have one of the best jobs in the world. And then to be recognized is always a nice little icing on the cake. Yeah, no pun intended, right? No, I say the cake. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, and, and it's it's always a pleasure well, to you, talk Tom. to you. We've been speaking with Jeff Zonheiser, the culinary art chef at Leeway Palmetter Junior Senior High School. He is our Sacramento County Office of Education Teacher of the Year. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, too.